fun with art therapy. What is it, first of all? Art therapy is a specialized area of mental health, and it uses a variety of art materials to explore your emotions, to reduce anxiety, to increase your self-esteem. And the more you do it, it actually really helps resolve other psychological conflicts. For me, as far as my experience is concerned, I have really enjoyed art therapy as a freedom of expression. It is an outlet for your own creativity. And you're able to de-stress in a very fun way. There are no rigid rules here, right? It is all about you and the paper and all of these materials that you have at your fingertips. What we're going to do today is specifically on mixed media art. And I don't know how many of you have any experience with mixed media, but it's very, very fun. My mom exposed us to it growing up. And I think the best part of it, at least for me, is it really helps you with recycling too. Because mixed media, as the word connotes, is about putting together all these different materials to come up with a project that you like, that you yourself have designed. So in this particular example, what you see here is, um, this is something that my cousin Sam worked on and she put different stickers on this piece of paper, right? It started with just different stickers. And then she started to put the watercolor background. And as you can see, it really comes from this dark, gray area into light, into the sun. And then she found a quote that I helped her uh, put on this, on this project. And now this project, specific project, actually is displayed in their dining area. So that's something that you can do. And that's something I think is interesting too. You want to be able to create art that inspires you. So I put together about six steps, very simple, basic six steps. The first one is to gather your art materials. And as I mentioned earlier, you want to think about recycling things. You know, if you got magazines lying around, you don't want to just throw them away. Even use like a discarded cardboard. I've had students before who use the uh, cereal boxes and then they use the colored part as the background. Some of them flipped it so that they've got the, the, the brown area to paint over or to design or decorate. And the good thing about using sturdy paper is that it's nice when you post it, right? It, it can be like a, like a poster um, that you can use to help you think of the more positive things in your life. In this particular shot, as you can see, Sam and I got a book of stickers, colored markers, watercolor, watercolor brushes, and pens. And I think it's, a, it's very important for you to remember that if you're using watercolor, you don't want to use water-based pens too, um, especially if you're going to coat it with Mod Podge to seal it because you want to use oil-based pens so that the ink doesn't run, okay? Second thing is for you to think of your concept. You know, the concept anchors the work of art. And in this particular case, I thought of putting together a project that centered on the word breathe. Breathing is something we take for granted because we do it every day. Since the day we were born, we were breathing already, right? But you know, ever since uh, COVID started, one of my sisters, her name's Mahalia, she's based in Batangas, and she is a, a nurse there, and she helps swabs patients and you know cares for them. And as she was telling us these different stories of you know people and their concerns and their worries, of course, it occurred to me how much of a sacrifice my sister is doing, but really not just her, so many people around us all over the world are sacrificing a lot so that others can 
live more normal or you know breathe easier and so i wanted to dedicate this particular project to all of the frontliners out there and that's why i thought of the word breathe now once you have that concept or that idea you want to start adding interesting things to your page and in this particular step i thought of a rainbow and blue skies because i wanted to give this page hope i wanted to be centered on the word breathe but in relation to just having hope and i wanted to add other details obviously and i looked at the sticker book and i saw the word blessings and i also saw the word the phrase god loves you and so i put that in these you know ends of the rainbow that i had here and then i thought you know what maybe i can write the word breathe just to give that part of the artwork a little bit of extra design and then i added flowers at the bottom of this page but obviously i felt like it was still unfinished right so i kept on adding different things in this particular picture you will see that i got a fan brush i dipped it in green ink and then i started adding the grass to the flowers if you see if you notice on the picture on the right i added two more flowers i actually didn't like that second one so much but then you know what it adds a little bit of whimsy to the page so i i went with it if it if, if it's something you don't like then you can just take it out you can cover it you can doodle on it there are no mistakes okay there are no mistakes there are no fast and hard rules just let it flow finally i thought it would be better if i am able to still cover a lot of these empty areas so i thought of this phrase give yourself permission to take time to breathe to live life to give to love and to just be and then finally if you notice i extended the race of the rainbow so i actually had to lift up those stickers the blessing and the god loves you sticker so that i could complete the rainbow i added them back and i added a hot air balloon on the top right side and then i coated this with mod podge mod podge is like a sealant right you can buy this in national bookstore or different crafting supply stores and this actually makes your project a little bit more thicker now finally just as a reminder and before i let you go enjoy it with a friend maybe even online right you can do artwork online obviously and once you start doing it i want you to pay particular attention at that moment where you zone out where the world disappears when your problems are all up in the air and they do not touch you at all when all of your concerns and all of your worries are a million miles away that is the beauty of art therapy and sharing it with a friend makes it even more enjoyable so please i encourage you to try it and when you start posting it on social media please add the hashtag connected women and be coach k certified thank you everyone i hope you learned something new today and i look forward to seeing all your projects bye